for joining me for story time. I'm Miss Teresa, and today we are going to read a very silly story. We are going to read a story called Falling for Rapunzel. Now, you may have heard of Rapunzel before, even Tangled, but this story about Rapunzel is a little bit different and very silly. Let's read. Falling for Rapunzel by Leah Wilcox. Once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. There's Rapunzel in her tower. From up above, he heard her whine. Upset, her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. She thought, he said, underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. Rapunzel threw down, ew, dirty socks. Mm, please, love, just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky dresses. In lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Ooh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. <sighs> Perhaps, he sighed, this is just a test. And bound by love, he did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? And if we look, Rapunzel's looking at, yes, that little piggy, but her friend has a ball of twine. Let's see what Rapunzel chooses. She heaved out her blue ribbon swine. By now, the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up, do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Confused, Rapunzel pushed out her maid. Ah! The maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with the coincidence. She nimbly jumped up off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, you'll find I'm really down to earth. His young heart thrilled, he gave a hoot. For what was more, the maid was cute. She set the prince upon his steed, then leapt behind him with graceful speed. And leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded, how could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. The end. How silly was that version of Rapunzel? She threw down everything except her hair or a ladder for the prince to climb. And all the time, 
there was a back door. Well, I hope you enjoyed this silly story. See you next time. Mm -hmm.